Bismillah Arman Reem, let us discuss the topic of chicken pox in uh, pregnancy based upon the RCOJ guidelines. So first of all, let us discuss the causative agent. Varicella zoster, the um, primary infection with varicella zoster uh, virus, human herpes virus 3 in pregnancy may cause the maternal mortality or serious morbidity. It may cause the fetal varicella syndrome and var fetal varicella infection in newborn which include congenital varicella syndrome and neonatal varicella. Varicella prevention, can the non-immune woman be immunized prior to pregnancy or postnatally? Uh, varicella vaccination pre-pregnancy or postpartum is an option that should be considered for women who are found zero negative for varicella zoster immunoglobin while a reversal serological antenatal testing is not recommended in the U in uk serological women identified in the woman could be offered postnatal immunization women who are vaccinated postpartum can be reassured that it is safe to breastfeed now another question can varicella be prevented in the uh, pregnant woman after her initial antenatal visit women booking for antenatal uh, care should be asked about the previous chicken pox and shingle infection women who have not had chicken pox or not uh, or are known to be zero negative for the chicken pox should be advised to avoid contact with the chicken pox and shingle during pregnancy and to inform the healthcare workers of the potential exposure without delay now significant contact what is a significant contact um, if, if the patient is in the same room for 15 minutes or more and if uh, she is having face-to-face uh, -face contact or contact in the setting of the large open wall that is called the significant kind of contact now can varicella infection be prevented in the pregnant woman who gives a history of contact with the chicken pox or shingles and um, when the contract occurs uh, with the chicken pox or shingles a careful history must be taken to confirm the significance of contact and susceptibility of the patient pregnant woman with uncertain or no previous history of the chicken pox or who come from the tropical or subtropical countries who have been exposed to infection should have a blood test to determine varicella zoster virus immunity or non-immunity if the pregnant woman is not immune to varicella zoster uh, virus and she had a significant exposure, she should be offered varicella zoster immunoglobulin as soon as possible. Varicella zoster immunoglobulin is effective when given up to 10 days after contact in case of the cont continuous exposure. This is defined as the 10 days from the appearance of the rash in the index cases. Non-immune to pregnant women who have been exposed to the chickenpox should be managed as potentially infectious from 8 to 28 days after exposure if they receive varicella zoster immunoglobulin from 8 to 21 days after exposure uh, if they do not receive varicella zoster immunoglobulin okay if they do not receive varicella zoster immunoglobulin their infection is from 8 to 21 days and if they receive varicella zoster immunoglobulin their infection is from 8 to 28 days after exposure now when supplies are limited issues to the pregnant woman uh, may be restricted and the clinicians are advised to establish the availability of varicella zoster immunoglobulin before offering it to the pregnant woman and women who have not um, had exposed to the chicken pox or shingle regardless of whether or not they have received varicella zoster immunoglobulin should be also to notify their doctor or midwife early if a rash develops. A pregnant woman who develops a chicken pox rash should be isolated from other pregnant women uh, when she uh, attends a general practice surgery or a hospital for assessment. And a second dose of varicella zoster immunoglobulin may be required if the further exposure is reported and three weeks have elapsed since the last dose. Now, what are the maternal risk of varicella in the pregnancy? Women should be aware of the increased morbidity associated with varicella infection in adults, including pneumonia, 10%, hepatitis, and encephalitis. Rarely, it may cause results in the death. And what are the fetal risk of fetal varicella syndrome? Where the fetal risk include fetal varicella syndrome, uh, include skin scarring, uh, dermatomal distribution, neurological abnormality, microcephaly, cortical atrophy, mental retardation, or dysfunction of the bowel and bladder sphincter early eye uh, sorry eye defects including the microphthalmia chorioretinitis and cataract and hypoplasia of the limb and who should the how should the pregnant woman who develop chicken pox be cared for women who avoid contact with the potentially susceptible individual for example the other pregnant woman a neonate until the lesion have crested over this usually takes about five days after the onset of the rash and symptomatic treatment and hygiene is advised to prevent the secondary bacterial infection of the lien oral acyclovir should be prescribed for the pregnant woman with a chicken box if they presents within the 24 hours of the onset of the rash or if they are 20 weeks of gestation or beyond use acyclovir before 20 weeks should be considered 
Acyclovir is not licensed for the use in pregnancy and the risk and the benefits uh, of it should be discussed with a woman. Intravenous acyclovir should be given to all the pregnant women with a severe chickenpox for a series of immunoglobulin has no therapeutic benefit once the chickenpox has developed and should um, therefore not be used in a pregnant women who have developed a chickenpox rash. Now should, should a woman uh, be referred to the hospital? The pregnant woman with a chicken pox should be asked to contact their doctors immediately if she develops respiratory symptoms or any other deterioration in her condition. Women who develop the symptoms or sign um, of the severe chicken pox should be referred to the hospital immediately and a hospital assessment should be considered in the woman at the high risk of the severe or complicated chicken pox even in the absence of concerning symptoms or signs. This assessment needs to take place in the area where she uh, will not come in contact with the other pregnant woman. Appropriate treatment should be decided in consultation with a multidisciplinary team that include an obstetrician or fetal medicine specialist, virologist or neonatologist. Women hospitalized with the varicella should be nursed in isolation from the baby's potentially susceptible pregnant woman or non-immunized staff. When and how should the woman with the chicken box be delivered? The timing and the mood of the delivery of the pregnant woman with the chicken box must be individualized when epidural or spinal anesthesia is undertaken in the woman with the chicken box. A side free of the cutaneous lesion should be which noted for chosen for needle placement if the maternal infection occurs in the last four hours of pregnancy there is 50 percent chance of the maternal infection what are the risk of the fetus of a cell infection in pregnancy and can they be prevented or ameliorated women should be advised that the risk of the spontaneous miscarriage doesn't appear to be increased if the chicken pox occurs in the first trimester if the pregnant woman develops uh, a cell or shows serological conversion in the first 28 weeks of the pregnancy she has a small risk of fetal varicella center and should be informed of its implication. Now coming to the important facts related to the chicken pox in pregnancy, the usual test uh, turn in around time is 24 to 48 hours and most of the women will be immune on testing where the cells of immunoglobulin is effective if given within the 10 days of exposure. Oral acyclovir can be prescribed for the pregnant woman with the chicken pox if they present within 24 hours of the onset of the rash if they are more than 20 weeks of pregnancy. Pregnant women with the chicken pox are at greatest risk of morbidity and mortality and pneumonia can occur up to 10% of the women with the chicken pox and there is no risk of the uh, to the fetus in the first trimester but there is a small risk of fetal varicella syndrome in the babies if infection occurs in the first 28 weeks of pregnancy. The most serious fetal risk is around the term and delivery should be delayed for 5 to 7 days if possible to allow for the transfer of um, IgG antibodies. Can varicella infection in the fetus be diagnosed prenatally? Women who develop chicken pox in the pregnant woman should be referred to the fetal medicine specialist at 68 to 20 weeks or 5 weeks after infection for discussion and detailed ultrasound examination. Given the amniocentesis has a strong negative predictive value but a poor positive predictive value in detecting the damage that cannot be detected. By non-invasive method, women who develop fetal varicella infection during pregnancy should be counseled about the risk versus the benefit of amniocentesis to check the varicella or DNA by PCR. Amniocentesis should not be performed before the skin lesions have completely healed. What are the neonatal risk of the varicella infection in the pregnancy and can they be prevented or ameliorated if the um, maternal infection occurs in the last four or four weeks of the preg uh, woman's pregnancy? There is a significant risk of the varicella infection of the newborn and a planned delivery should normally be avoided for at least four, seven days after the onset of the maternal rash to allow for the passive transfer of antibodies from mother to child, provided that the continuing the pregnancy does not pose any additional risk to the mother or the baby. A neonatologist should be informed of the birth of all the babies born to the women who have developed chicken pox at any gestation during pregnancy. Women with the chicken pox should breastfeed if they wish to and are well enough to do so. Now, what are the maternal infections at the time of delivery? Maternal infections occur at time. Elective cesarean section should normally be avoided until 5 to 7 days after the onset of the maternal rash to allow for the passive transfer of antibodies from mother to feed infant. If the uh, birth occurs within the 7 days of the um, periods following the onset of the maternal rash or if uh, or if the mother develops chicken box rash within the 7 days after the birth, the new need should be given varicella zoster immunoglobulin. Now, new needed infection should be treated with the acyclovir following discussion with the neonatologist and varicella zoster immunoglobulin is of no benefit once the neonatal chicken pox has developed.
Now, acyclovir doses in chickenpox and herpes, herpes simplex infection in the first and second trimester, 400 mg, three times per day for five days and start again from 36 weeks until delivery. Herpes simplex virus infection in the third trimester, 400 mg, three times per day until delivery. Intrapartum dose of the acyclovir if the patients with a primary herpes, 5 mg per kg every eight hours, herpes simplex mother delivers recommended dose for the newborn is 20 mg per kg tds for 10 days while waiting for the result chicken pox 500 mg 5 times per day for 7 days or 800 mg 5 times per day for 5 days this is the algorithm where is the zoster contact uh, clarifies significance of contact past history of chicken pox no action needed reassure and return to the normal antenatal care and uncertain or no post history of the chicken pox or the woman from tropical or subtropical country check the blood uh, booking sample if available for everacillus uh, ostrium immunoglobulin if everacillus ostrium immunoglobulin present no action is needed if everacillus ostrium immunoglobulin is not uh, present go to the downward uh, algorithm i will explain it in the next slide and uh, coming to the extreme right side we have um, uh, a patient who presents with the chicken pox initial contact should be with the woman's GP okay so uh, regarding the women's uh, who did not have a racilla zoster uh, immunoglobulin present what we will do we will give the varicella zoster immunoglobulin if uh, less than 10 days since the contact um, uh, for continuous exposure less than 10 days since the appearance of the rash in the index case advise the woman that she is potentially infectious from 8 to 28 days after contact and discuss the postpartum varicella uh, immunization and women who develop such a chicken pox despite the varicella zoster immunoglobulin we will go to this algorithm and uh, those women who present with chicken pox initial contact should be with the women's gv they should also follow this um, this box in which it is written that a wide contact with a potentially susceptible individual for example neonates and other pregnant women symptomatic treatment and hygiene should be advice if the woman present less than 24 hours of appearance of the rash and if she is more than 20 weeks of gestation prescribe a circular if the woman present less than 24 hours of appearance of the rash and if she is less than 20 weeks of gestation consider a cyclovir a wide delivery of the baby until at least seven uh, days uh, since the rash appear and if um, she's having severe infection woman who develops severe infection and woman at the high risk of the complicated chicken pox should be referred to the hospital and give the uh, intra uh, intravenous cyclovir should be given and uh, if uh, these patients are infectious less than 28 weeks of gestation then inform the women that are infectious and less than 28 weeks is associated with smaller less than approximately one percent risk of fetal varicella syndrome and refer to the fetal specialist at 16 to 20 weeks or uh, five weeks after medicine amniocentesis is, is done to detect the fetal varicella dna that may be considered okay thank you so much for your patience Bismillah.